Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and Rankman. My name's Lumina right now, jumping into some rank play with a different deck this time around. It's called the Shockadin. The Legend Paladin Shockadin, or Paladin Legend Shockadin, or Shockadin Paladin Legend. I don't know. It's got those three words in the title. I can't tell you which order they were in. I have forgotten, but it seems to be rather interesting. I don't know if it's going to be super duper amazingly good, but if I had to compare it to something I'd compare it to the Face Hunter deck, it seems like it plays in much the same way, but you do, in certain matchups, I guess, prioritize control a little bit more. The thing is, I tested it once or twice now, and I just got unlucky. So I can't really say how it performs just yet. This is the true test right here. Also, I've been playing only against Warlocks. I've played six games today. Three of them were with the free ranks deck. I won those three. And all six of them were against Warlocks. Five of the Warlocks were normal Zulok decks. Minor variations. One of them was a Murloc deck. It's really painful. Ugh. Equality is good against Murlocs. But I'm not going to keep it. It's actually pathetic how many Warlocks there are on the ladder right now. I don't know why, because the decks don't seem that good. Maybe they win more consistently than, you know... Something like the Sully Paladin deck that I'm trying. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're the easiest to play. Maybe they're also the cheapest to play. That could be. Okay, so this is immediately, instantly, something different. I never see that. I fight. So, I have choices here. Huh. I can Noble Sacrifice and Reinforce, mm. but I don't think I should use the coin. So I'll just reinforce. Now I need to pick up a Abuse of Sergeant or Blessing of Might or something that'll just give me a bit of a boost. Mortal Coil is my most hated enemy at the moment. It's a silly card. And you know what's even more silly is that I'm not even sure if this is a Zulok or something else right now. I think it's something else. The battle. It's something else. Now, I've given him five mana. It's bad. But what I can do in the next turn with my five, I can play Noble Sacrifice. What else? What is going on? <sighs> now I've got two equalities. How is that going to help? Is it time to Leroy? I'm gonna say there's just no good play there. Nothing I can do to make this really work. I wanna spend the cards, get them out of my way, so that I can use Divine Favor effectively. Now with my luck, he's gonna have that silly mortal coil again. I mean a shadow bolt obviously could be a thing. That's okay. Please, please, come on. Ah. Oh. As long as he doesn't solve okay. Good, good. So now my choices are extremely limited. I actually don't have any choices. This is a terrible hand. How is it possible? <laughs> and he's on seven mana.
I'm more confused than I've ever been right now. Why do you call don't know what's going on with his deck. If I pick up a Consecration soon, I'll be happy. I gotta use the equality at some point. And I guess, you know, what better time than now. Justice. Still have an opportunity here to draw some cards. Still have it. Still want a Consecration. If I can get a Consecration, I'll be in a good position. So if I Consecrate now, think about it. He'll draw an extra card from that. He'll have a ridiculous amount of cards in his hand. Aha! Nice. Nice. This is it. This is it. For justice. Now I should be drawing into some cards to finish the job. Yep. If he doesn't finish the job soon, I will be doing that. I mean, look at this. That's already a good bunch of damage. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yes, I know he just played a taunter. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Equality, Avenging Wrath this turn, and then the kill next turn. He shouldn't have any more taunters, right? No, I'm not even sure what this is, but the dude is rank 7, so it's obviously a good deck against something. Now he's gonna play you face Jiraxus. <laughs> it always happens. I can take Jiraxus out though, can't I? That's four. So seven. No! I was about to say, you are not gonna deal 19 damage in one turn. You are not! <laughs> yes! 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 He was going for the ultimate lucker play, but you gotta keep in mind, okay, that he only had... 6 damage, right? But maybe he's got an abusive sergeant there? Ah, uh, Well, you go... just... Uh, seriously. There you go, there you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There. Tuh. So, I'm gonna leave this at only one game in this video because I wanna actually go into the collection manager to just talk about the cards in this deck for a moment. I wanna just compare it to the free ranks deck. Talk about the ins and outs and all that other good stuff because how did it get at the top? It's a little different in the way that it plays, and I don't know if I like it. It seems to work, it really does, but it seems to be stronger against everything except Zoo. I don't know. So, there are the obvious combos here. The Chargers, along with the Blessings of Might, Abusive Sergeant, and then there's obviously the Hammer of Wrath, which I'm not 100% sure about. Ugh, I don't know. I'm also not a big fan of Noble Sacrifice. So, Lesson of Might, Noble Sacrifice, Abusive Sergeants, they are just a standard in any aggro deck, as is the Argent Squire. Now, in this deck specifically, the Blood Knight wouldn't work out that well, just because there's no Argent Protector in here, which is, once again, a bit of a conundrum. But the Argent Protector doesn't give quite as much aggression as it does control. You know, you can control the board with an Argent Protector. You can't really rush someone down. Again, the one Elven Archer. Lepinomes are great. The Worgen Infiltrators, I think for the most part, they're just there to take out pests such as Knife Jugglers, 
fairy dragons, all the two health minions that just irritate you to no end. They're also good for just lining up the kill shots, again, combined with blessings and sergeants. Kinda cool. Bluegill warriors, <sighs> they're good. They're good for aggro. Divine Favor sucks if you pick it up at the wrong time. Always. Arcane Go- Oh, they, they're great. The Arcane Golems work well all the time. Truce of the Champion is just good. Consecration. You need that in the current meta where everyone's playing Warlock. I promise to you, I'm not even joking. Seven games in a row now. Only Warlocks. Now, it's probably only the ladder that works this way. In tournaments and stuff, I know things like Miracle Rogue. They're kind of more prevalent, more popular. But on the ladder, Zulok everywhere. Hammer of Wrath again, four mana is a bit iffy to play, but it is nice removal, and I kind of miss that kind of removal in free ranks. Jenkins is in every single deck nowadays, and Avenging Wrath is just great. Again, I could put Tyrion Fordring in there if I wanted to, but I think it would slow the deck down. Speaking of Tyrion Fordring, I did put him in this deck. He's currently in free ranks, and it's been working reasonably well. I took out a Harvest Golem and put Tyrion in, because I thought the Harvest Golem would, I guess, change the deck the least. You know, you can still win quite easily without the Harvest Golem, but if you, for instance, don't get a nice one drop early on, that could change the game. If you don't pick up the Knife Juggler or, you know, the Argent Protector, or your weapon, which is also super useful. That could change the game. The Argent Commanders, they're strong. You know, you've only got three cards on six mana in this deck. So I think that putting Tyrion in there where I did makes sense. I've yet to test it out extensively, but the one or two games that I played today with it in ranked play, two were in casual, two in ranked play, they went well. Again, only against Warlocks, so I can't really say. But there you go. Let me know to think about the Shockerdin deck. I've got another Paladin deck that I'm going to be trying out over the next couple of days. A control type deck that I'm also super keen for, but once again not sure about. I do think Paladin plays control really well, so it could be amazing. But let me know what you think. Is this just the face hunter for Paladins? It feels like it, but it does feel a little more versatile. A tiny bit. Let me know what you think. Give it a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Check back here soon for more ranked play. Most importantly though, happy, happy Shockerdon. Happy creative Paladin decks. Happy that.